John with the Pro Cut here, and today we're going to show you how to repair a broken arm on your drone. This one happens to be a DJI Mavic Mini. Uh, really, no tools necessary. Um, maybe a razor blade or a, a small knife or something. But you're going to need some baking soda and some super glue. Um, I happen to have these little single use packs that I got at the dollar store. And once you screw the housing on, it's open, and that's all you need. So now I'm going to zoom in on the work area, and we're going to get this job done and fix this drone up so we can get back in the air. All right, so the first thing you want to do is like, comment, and subscribe to this video, and then open up your super glue, crazy glue, gorilla glue, whatever type of CA you're using. And go ahead and apply some of that glue around one side of the arm. And then once you have that glue on there, go ahead and hold the arm into position to where you can't see through the crack. You've got it nice and tight in there where it Everything looks good and lined up and then just hold that there for a few seconds while the glue sets up. Could take up to 30 seconds. May even take longer than 30 seconds. It would help if you had more of a precision tip. Okay, so then you use your blade and you pack some baking powder into the seams on the back side. And then go ahead and drench those with your CA glue. And you can add a little bit more baking soda onto there as well and I'm holding this into place with my finger making sure that everything is staying lined up the way it needs to be lined up so in real time I'm at seven minutes right now I just I really don't want to let it go until I'm now I'm going to put a little bit of baking soda on the on the other seams that I glued, you're just dusting over those and you could see the repair and now it's holding itself there pretty good. I don't want to put any weight on that leg, so I'm going to set my mini up over here on my box and I'm going to let that cure overnight. Tomorrow my new propellers should be here and we'll put it all back together and take it for a test flight. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna get that other clip onto the end of this. Like, comment, subscribe, don't forget. Well, it's actually two days later. This glue joint is good. As you can see, I can pick the whole drone up. So the super glue and baking soda did the trick. Now I'm gonna put on a set of props and test her out. So the new props come with the little screwdriver. They come with new screws because you don't want to reuse the old screws. Just make sure you're putting the, the right front get two stripes and the left rear get two stripes. So make sure you're putting on the right props. Use the new screws that come with it because they got a little dab of Loctite on them. And get it nice and snug. And these are the same low noise replacement propellers that I've been using. I had good luck with them, so I decided to stick with them. And now the single stripe propellers go on the right rear and left front. Now some of these props didn't seem to damage, but you know, for less than $10 for a set, 
I'd rather just replace them all. That way there's no issues. And it looks like they've even included four extra screws. All right. So that's all it is to replacing the props. And again, you can see my repair is good. So we can go ahead and fire this thing up for a test flight. All right, guys, so we're waiting for the Mavic Mini to boot up and connect with the Fly More app and controller. We've got the arm repaired. We've got the new propellers on. I'm gonna go ahead and let it uh, acquire some GPS satellites prior to takeoff here. And I'm anticipating a calibration required code to be thrown up. So if that happens, then we'll go ahead and we'll calibrate it real quick too. And then we'll test fly this thing see what happened like comment subscribe to the pro cut okay take off permitted well there you go so as you can see <laughs> oh shit i almost put my Newly repaired drone directly into some tree branches like a friggin' idiot. Ha! <laughs> anyway, let's go fly! Okay, so my final thoughts. My repair is good. The prop change is good. I was able to fly out a half mile or so and back. Um, noticed a little jittering with the gimbal. And upon further inspection, there are some broken parts on my gimbal, but it still fully functions. It's just a little bit uh, jittery at times. So that's good enough. Um, I had already made up my mind. I'm definitely going to upgrade. Um, I'm leaning heavily toward the DJI Air 2S at this particular point in time. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget.